ADEPT's integration with AutoCAD provides AutoCAD users with seamless, comprehensive data management capabilities inside the AutoCAD application window. The benefits of ADEPT for organizations that use AutoCAD are extensive. First and foremost, the integration enhances design productivity by giving fast access to the information that's needed from within the AutoCAD application. AutoCAD users can stay focused on the design process and rest assured that critical document management capabilities are in place and at their fingertips. ADEPT helps AutoCAD users find documents quickly based on any attribute information you choose to track about your files, including attributes from your AutoCAD title block, which are automatically tracked, and ADEPT makes the process of reusing existing designs for other projects simple and easy. And it automates revision control and maintains an audit trail for each document throughout its life cycle. ADEPT can automate your engineering change process, streamlining workflow throughout your organization. And it allows users to see and manage file relationships, including X references, images, and overlays. ADEPT provides security and control over all of your proprietary design and business documents across the enterprise. And ADEPT allows non-CAD users to visualize, markup, and compare 2D and 3D designs without the need for the native application and can automate the creation of Excel-based bills of material. And because ADEPT is also integrated with Inventor, SolidWorks, and MicroStation, it's perfect for organizations that utilize multiple CAD tools. The ADEPT task pane within AutoCAD gives users the ability to search, sign in, sign out, open, insert, replace, and see the status information about all of your files, be it drawings, email, forms, spreadsheets, etc., without leaving the AutoCAD application. The major enhancement to ADEPT's integration into AutoCAD is the task pane. The task pane gives CAD users quick, easy access to the files managed in your ADEPT vault while enabling you to stay in AutoCAD. The task pane can be considered as having three logical areas. The browse area at the top, the results area in the middle, and the action area down at the bottom. Selections in one area can affect what's displayed or available in the others. In the Browse area, there are three tabs, Search, File Guide, and Work Area. These are the three means to access files in ADEPT. In the Results area, file information is displayed in each file selectable. In the Action area, you can review the selected file's thumbnail and relationships and define specifics about how the file will be treated when opened inside of AutoCAD. All interaction between ADEPT's task pane and AutoCAD is based on drag and drop. The task pane can be configured to automatically dismiss, as in unpinned, so when focus moves into the AutoCAD area, it'll automatically be dismissed. It can also be pinned to always be viewed. Also, the task pane can be aligned to the right, to the left, or minimized, depending on your preference. You may also simply drag the task pane to another location, such as a secondary monitor. The task pane can be minimized only when unpinned and can be restored using the icon in the system tray down here at the bottom. Now let's review the browse area of the ADEPT task pane integration. Our customer survey showed that file name was by far the most used field for searching in ADEPT by CAD users. So by default, we place the file name as the first search criteria. I'm going to look for all the files that begin with 5.3. And I only want the ones that were drawn by Jan, so I can put her information in here as well. You can choose other fields to search on, such as job number or project number, keyword, or any field that you have in ADEPT. 
There are two checkbox options in the search area. One limits the type of files displayed to only AutoCAD files. You may leave this unchecked to see all the file types you have access to within your search criteria. For example, with this unchecked, when I search for a certain project number, I may see change orders, emails, photos, letters of transmittal, as well as the AutoCAD files. Some users may want to see these files in their list even though they can't edit them in AutoCAD. The other checkbox option enables you to save various settings when you exit AutoCAD, such as your search values, your checkbox settings, and your results columns and their positions. Rather than specifying search criteria, you can use the file guide to gain access to desired files that are sorted based on your data. Here you can select any file guide view that's available in ADEPT. You can see the results of that selection in the results area. File guides are a great way to find files with similar data. The third selection to provide access to files is the ADEPT work area. Your work area is simply a personal folder that holds the files that you have signed out or newly created. These are the main ways that you can search for files in ADEPT. Let's review the results area of the ADEPT task pane. The results area displays the results of the browse or search function. In the results area you can add or remove columns. In this case I'm going to add in a column for the file extension. I can sort on any of these fields to uh, arrange them by file name or drawn by or any of the different fields. I can also resize any of these columns and rearrange their order with a simple drag and drop. When you select a file in the results list and right click, you gain access to appropriate options for that specific file. These options will change based on the status of the selected file. For example, here I selected a file with a status of in, and I get options for copy, edit, and view library card, and sign out. I'm going to sign out this file. When you select a file that has a status of out, you get different right-click options. In this case, I can delete, edit view library card, sign in, as well as sign in and out. This is very useful if you want to update what other users are viewing in the ADEPT vault. When you delete a file with the out status, the original file in the ADEPT library now becomes in again. An additional feature of the ADEPT task pane is viewing and editing the ADEPT library cards. Here you can add or even modify data if you have the rights to do so. Perhaps I want to change uh, the scale or any other piece of information. I can type this in and hit save. Not only does it update the database, it also updates the attributes in the title block that show that scale. Next we'll view the action area. Down in the action area I can see a displayed thumbnail as well as all the relationships for that particular document. On the relationships tab we also can see the status of each of the documents. So users can very quickly see if other people have documents signed out that they're referencing in their drawing. For each selected file, the options available will differ depending on the status of the file itself. Many AutoCAD users ask for the ability to open a drawing without creating a new version or signing it out. They simply want to look at it in AutoCAD. So since this file is out, I'm going to select one that's in, and over here we can now see the uh, action type will change, and one of them is open for read only. I can also sign this file out, as well as copy it. If I choose copy, I can give it a new file name right here. I'll accept the default for read only, and I simply drag and drop. This will open this file in a read-only mode and not create a new version. If I wish to save this later, I can always rename it something else and sign it back into ADEPT. Now, this time I'm going to go and open a file. I'm going to close these two files. 
and I'm going to open a file in a sign out mode. So here I'm going to select this file. I want to open and I want it to be signed out and then I drag and drop it into the environment. Now let's say you'd like to insert a block or a detail into this drawing. You can perform your search using either the file guide views or the search criteria. I happen to have a couple files that I just created that are brand new. And this file I'd like to insert inside of this drawing as a block. Well, first I don't want to reference it. I want to insert it as a block. And I can insert it from my work area and I simply drag and drop. So this just continues the same insertion command that you would use with AutoCAD. Another option available is the ability to replace X references. For example, here, if I go into the model and I select the X reference in the graphic window, I can now come in and select it in the listing, and I have another option here to replace. If you have multiple instances of the same item that you want to replace, then simply drag and drop the file into AutoCAD and you'll see the other option to replace all here. Another frequent request is the desire to be notified should a file being referenced in an open drawing be signed out or signed in by another user. We've added this enhancement to our AutoCAD integration giving you even more information about what's happening to the files that you're referencing. Notification can be given in a dialog box interface in this case, I've got mine turned on to notify me if anybody signs in or out a file that I'm referencing. In summary, ADEPT provides a tightly integrated in-the-window integration with AutoCAD. ADEPT also provides the same level of integration for SOLIDWORKS and Inventor. ADEPT offers a unique solution that includes a world-class visualization, markup, and compare tool unique vaulting methods, and flexible workflows. Most importantly, ADEPT is easy to implement and maintain. For more detailed information on ADEPT's capabilities, please visit SynergistSoftware.com and watch our other in-depth videos.